Hello and welcome to our lecture about an FIR filter on an FPGA. In the last video I showed you the design of a test bench to read and write images and in this video we will have a look to augment to upgrade this test bench to a self-checking test bench. To check the design of our FIR filter we need to know the expected response and we already have that from the Octave program of the first lecture. There's one modification. The Octave simulation needs to be a bit true and therefore we cannot use JPEG compression for the output. We use a sub-program that writes the image without compression in the PPM format. Again, code is available at our project website. Also, the VHDL code has to have the same bit true representation of the algorithm, and um, this is uh, considered in the filter arithmetic in the module sharp arith. One thing is that we have to perform the same rounding as an octave, and we do this by adding the value 16 and uh, then dividing by 32. And the output of the arithmetic is limited to 8 bit, and we do this by limiting overflow and underflow to the values 255 and 0. The test bench handles stimuli and response. For stimuli, we read the input file and give it to the design under verification. For response, we take the output of the design and write it to the image file. And for the self-checking test bench, we now have the extension that we also read the expected image and compare it to the output of the design under verification. If the output is correct, then these two images are identical. If they are not identical, we can compare them for debugging. Furthermore, the test bench has to consider the handling of image borders. And there are two simplifications in the VHDL code. See the video for that. There are two simplifications. One is the vertical filter delays the output by three lines. And the second simplification is that border pixels are filtered together with neighboring lines or neighboring frames. And this affects three pixels at each border. So uh, this is the graphics for it. The memory for the FAR filter contains uh, at the border a mix of uh, start of line, end of line, or start of frame, end of frame. So the magical number three results from having a seventh filter according to this equation. And here's the VHDL code for the test bench. It's based on the test bench we had earlier. We now have three files for stimuli, expected result and response. Then we can skip the stimuli process. And uh, here we have the response process where we handle the output from the design under verification. Here's the file for writing the response as we had earlier. And then we open the file for the expected result. We read the header and then we have a loop for all valid pixel. Until the test bench ends, we have the response and write it. Here we check the response and the expected values. So red from the simulation, red expected, green from simulation, green expected, blue simulation, blue expected. They are compared. Here we handle the vertical delay of the filter, so we start in line 3, and here we handle the image borders, so if x position or y position is at a border, we do not perform a check. If there is a mismatch, we have an assert statement, and we have a counter for the number of mismatches, and then at the end of the process we close response and expected file. And here's the end of the stimuli process. We stop the simulation but we check if there was a mismatch. If the number is zero everything is fine. If uh, there was a mismatch we also give a statement and saying that there has been a mismatch and we give the number of mismatches. This self-checking test bench is now a good verification approach that would also be used by industry. And if you have a look at all the videos, you see the complete development cycle from algorithm 
to hardware implementation and verification. By watching the videos, I hope you learned a lot, but you can learn even more if you do exercises with the material. All the source code is available and in the next video, I will give you some ideas and some suggestions for exercises.